TV KPM Assalamualaikum, salam sejahtera dan salam keluarga Malaysia. Anda bersama saya Irfan Syahmi di saluran Didik TV KPM. Untuk hari ini sebenarnya, Tuan-Tuan dan Puan-Puan, kita akan sama-sama menyaksikan Majlis Pelancaran Persidangan Antarabangsa Bahasa Inggeris Kedua ataupun ICEL tahun 2022 yang kita buatkan secara langsung dari Roy Chulan Seremban, Negeri Sembilan. Sedikit perkongsian berkenaan dengan objektif program kita pada petang ini adalah untuk menyediakan peluang kepada pendidik untuk berkongsi ilmu, pendekatan dan juga kepakaran dalam bidang pendidikan bahasa Inggeris. Selain itu, ia juga untuk memberi ruang dan peluang kepada mereka untuk berkongsi amalan dan inovasi terbaik dalam pendidikan bahasa Inggeris. Ia juga adalah untuk memperkasakan budaya pembelajaran sepanjang hayat dalam kalangan pendidik bagi memastikan mutu pendidikan bahasa Inggeris terus berkualiti sepanjang zaman dan juga ia untuk mewujudkan platform profesional untuk pendidik dari latar belakang yang berbeza dalam usaha mewujudkan kerjasama profesional antara mereka. Selain itu, Ifan ingin kongsikan kepada anda semua dari segi tema program kita pada petang ini. Kalau dalam bahasa Inggerisnya, Envisioning the Future of English Language Education, Exploring Innovation and Best Practices in English Language Teaching. Ataupun dengan izin bahasa Melayu, membayang masa depan pendidikan bahasa Inggeris, meneroka inovasi dan amalan terbaik dalam pengajaran bahasa Inggeris. Dan uh, untuk persidangan pada kali ini adalah untuk kita sama-sama uh, melihat kepada memberi tumpuan kepada isu dan cabaran dalam pendidikan bahasa Inggeris menerusi sesi yang dikendalikan panel dalam kumpulan yang khusus. Kita mengharapkan ICL yang kedua ini akan menyatukan kita dalam menuju ke arah mencapai satu matlam yang sama, masa depan yang cerah dalam pendidikan bahasa Inggeris. Selain itu, Ifa nak kongsikan juga Tema sampingan bagi ICL tahun ini seperti pedagogi pembelajaran bahasa Inggeris dalam persekitaran yang berubah. Selain itu, persekitaran pengajaran dan pembelajaran dalam bahasa Inggeris, hasil dan matlamat mampan murid dalam pembelajaran bahasa Inggeris dan lain-lain lagi. Dan dalam kita bercakap mengenai persidangan yang akan dirasmikan sementara kejap lagi, ianya seiring dengan perubahan persekitaran, pengajaran dan pembelajaran bagi mata pelajaran bahasa Inggeris ini turut mengalami evolusi dinamik dan amalannya di seluruh dunia. Terdapat keperluan bagi pendidik dan penyelidik untuk terus berusaha meningkatkan pendidikan bahasa Inggeris. Oleh itu, persidangan antara bahasa Inggeris ICL kedua ini diharap dapat membawa penyelidik pengamal dan pendidik untuk berkongsi ilmu, pendapat serta inovasi mereka bagi meningkatkan pengetahuan dan kepakaran dalam bidang Perkenaan. Jadi sebagai rakyat Malaysia, kita perlu sokong semua kerjasama ini bagi memastikan bahasa Inggeris turut diperkasakan dalam negara kita, bukan saja dalam kalangan pendidik, malah murid-murid di negara ini. Jadi untuk itu, kita sama-sama doakan agar program ini berjalan secara lancar dan ia patutnya mendapat kerjasama yang baik antara semua pihak. Dan di sini juga Ifa ingin kongsikan lagi sekali berkenaan dengan objektif program kita. Yang pertama, bagi menyediakan peluang kepada pendidik untuk berkongsi ilmu, pendekatan dan juga kepakaran dalam bidang pendidikan bahasa Inggeris. Selain itu, ianya juga untuk memberi ruang dan peluang kepada mereka untuk berkongsi amalan dan inovasi terbaik dalam bidang pendidikan bahasa Inggeris. Dan uh, untuk Ifan kongsikan, juga suka Ifan katakan di sini ia untuk memperkasakan budaya mempelajaran dalam bidang pendidikan bahasa Inggeris sepanjang hayat dalam kalangan pendidik bagi memastikan mutu pendidikan bahasa Inggeris ini terus terjaga. Jadi, tanpa melengahkan masa lagi, kita akan sama-sama saksikan perasmian Majlis Pelancaran Persidangan Antarabangsa Bahasa Inggeris Kedua ICL 2022 yang akan dirasmikan oleh Dr. Ahmad Rafi Cik Kasim, iaitu Timbalan Ketua Pengarah Pendidikan Malaysia, Sektor Pembangunan Profesionalisme. Jadi jom kita saksikan dari Roy Chulan, Seremban, Negeri Sembilan.
Thank you, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. Please be seated. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, the outstanding welcoming dance that we've just witnessed was performed by the students from Tuanku Aisha Rohani Science Secondary School, Suremban. Let's give them another big round of applause. 
yang berusaha Dr. Haji Ahmad Rafi bin Cik Kasim, Deputy Director General of Education, Professional Development Sector, Ministry of Education Malaysia, yang berusaha Dr. Norisa binti Suhaili, Deputy Director General of Education, Education Operations Sector, Ministry of Education Malaysia, yang berusaha Dr. Hajah Rosmini binti Ku Ahmad, Rector, Institute of Teacher Education Malaysia, yang berusaha Puan Farah Mardi binti Aman, Director, English Language Teaching Centre, Ministry of Education Malaysia, Madam Susan Leong, Centre Director, Simeo Regional Centre, RELC, Singapore, Directors, Deputy Directors and Representatives from the Ministry of Education Malaysia Divisions, State Education Departments, ELT Partners and Conference Delegates. Distinguished guests, Ladies and gentlemen, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and a very warm welcome to the opening ceremony of the second International Conference on English Language, ICEL 2022. <laughs> Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, we will now commence with the recitation of the Doa. To lead the Doa recitation, we would like to invite Dr. Norazi Binrani from Institute of Teacher Education, International Languages Campus, Kuala Lumpur. Please welcome. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. A'udhu billahi minash shaitan rajim بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وله الكبرياء في السماوات والأرض وهو العزيز الحكيم والصلاة والسلام الأتمان الأكملان على سيدنا محمد بن عبد الله وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين اللهم يا رحمن يا رحيم on this blessed day in conjunction of the opening ceremony of Second International Conference on English Language, ICEL 2022, Ministry of Education Malaysia, we are grateful toward you in favor of all the infinite blessing on us, your servant. Nonetheless, we seek your guidance for the success of this event. Allahumma ya latifu ya rahman. Allahumma hdina wa wafiqna. Please, Please bless us with your hidayah, inayah and tawfiq. Please guide us to greatness, peace, glory and prosperity in this world and the hereafter. Allahumma ya munzil al-barakat wa ya qadhi al-hajat. Allahumma tawil umurana wa sahih ajsadana wa nawir qulubana wa ahsin akhlaqana wa a'malana. Prolong our life. Give us health. Illuminate our soul, strengthen our faith, beautify our characters and our word. Allahumma la tada' lana fi maqamina hadha dhamban illa ghafarta, wa la hamman illa farrajta, wa la maridan illa shafayta, wa la dhalan illa hadayta, wa la hajatan min hawaiji dunya wal akhira. Hiya laka rida wa lana salahun illa qadaytaha. ويسرتها يا أرحم الراحمين والحمد لله رب العالمين Thank you Dr. Norazi bin Rani for the du'a recitation. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, the second international conference on English language, ISL 2022, is jointly organized by the English Language Teaching Center, ELTC, with four teacher education institutes, International Languages, Batulintang, Gaya, and Dato Razali Ismail campuses. Special thanks to two Ministry of Education divisions, the Resource and Educational Technology Division, the Information Management Division, and special thanks to Yayasan Guru Tun Husin on YGTHO from the continuous support in making ISL 2022 a success. We would also like to express our special thanks to Puan Zaimi Binti Zainal Abidin from SMK Putrajaya 181, 
the sign language interpreter for the hearing impaired, who's with us here today. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, the second international conference on English language ISL 2022 aims to create a platform for researchers, practitioners, and teachers to share best practices as well as to explore innovations in the field of English language teaching. The theme for ISL 2022 is envisioning the future of English language education, exploring innovations and best practices in English language teaching. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, we would now like to invite Dr. Hajah Rosmini Binti Ku Ahmad, Rector, Institute of Teacher Education Malaysia, to deliver the welcoming remarks. Please welcome Dr. Hajah Rosmini Binti Ku Ahmad. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and salam sejahtera Yang berusaha Dr. Haji Ahmad Rafi bin Cik Kasim Deputy Director General of Education Professional Development Sector Ministry of Education Malaysia Yang berusaha Dr. Norisah binti Suhaili Deputy Director General of Education School Operation Sector Ministry of Education Malaysia Ms. Susan Leong, Director of Regional English Language Center, Relax Singapore. Puan Farah Mardi Binti Aman, Director English Language Teaching Center, Ministry of Education. Directors of Division, Ministry of Education Malaysia. Directors of State Education Departments, Directors of Teacher Education Institute. Officials from various division and institutes, Ministry of Education Malaysia, member of English Language Standards and Quality Council, our outreach partners, plenary speakers and workshop presenters, participants of ISEL 2022. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to take this opportunity to, warm, to warmly welcome all presenters and participants from Malaysia and countries around the world to the official launch of the second International Conference on English Language ASEAN 2022. My sincere thanks to the English Language Teaching Center, EFTC, for organizing this conference in collaboration with Yasan Guru Tun Hussein On, YGTHO, Teacher Education Institute, IPG Campus Bahasa Antarabangsa, IPG Campus Batu Lintang, IPG Campus Gaya, and IPG Campus Datuk Razali Ismail, as well as the Resource and Educational Technology Division, or BSTP, and the Information Management Division, or Bahagian Pengurusan Maklumat. The theme for the second international conference on English language ISEL 2022 is envisioning the future of English language education, exploring innovations and best practices in English language teaching. This theme is most appropriate as we seek new ways to improve the teaching of English language. This three-day conference which is held via a hybrid mode involves 1,500 local and international participants. This is an impressive number of participants for the conference and a great platform to discuss and deliberate on how we can envision the future of English language teaching. The education landscape is advancing and transforming at a very rapid speed. Therefore, the conference is timely as we engage, share, and explore innovative ideas and practices in the English language teaching field. 
the second international conference on English language ISEL 2022 aims to provide opportunities for educators from Malaysia as well as from around the world to share their knowledge, approach and expertise in the field of English language education. Additionally, ISEL 2022 aims for educators to share their best practices and innovations in English language education through well-researched papers and e-paper presentations. The five special interest group sessions focus on expert sharing and discussions on specific areas related to English language education. Through this conference, it is hoped that we can create professional English language teaching, learning partnerships between and among our conference participants to strengthen ELT practices. I am confident that this partnership will yield now numerous benefits beyond the tangible outcomes and outputs of this conference. My sincere thanks to all the keynote and plenary speakers as well as presenters for your contributions and sharing of expertise. To so all the participants, I hope that you will, you will practice and share all the knowledge, ideas and strategies gained from this conference. Once again, I would like to express my gratitude to all the presenters, to all the uh, participants. We are deeply honoured to have you and Grace and to the, Dr. Ahmad Rafi to officiate the second, language, the second international conference on English language I said 2022. With that, I thank you and wish you a successful and engaging three-day conference. Sekian, wabillahi taufiq, wahidaya, wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Hajar Rusmini, for the welcoming remarks. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, we are very honoured to have Yang Berusaha, Dr. Haji Ahmad Rafi Bin Che Kasim, Deputy Director General of Education, Professional Development Sector, Ministry of Education Malaysia with us at this conference this evening. We would now like to invite Yang Berusaha, Dr. Haji Ahmad Rafi Bin Che Kasim, to deliver the opening remarks. And thereafter, to officiate the opening of the second international conference on English language, ISL 2022. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming Yang Brusa, Dr. Haji Ahmad Rafi bin Cheikh Kasim. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin. Wassalatu wassalamu ala ashrafil anbiya wa mursalin wa ala alihi wa sahbi ajma'in. Rabbi shrahli sadri wa yassirli amri wa ahlul undata min lisani yafqaw qawli. Thank you, Madam MCs. Ladies and gentlemen, allow me to deliver the official speech by the Senior Minister of Education Malaysia, Yang Muhammad Datuk Dr. Razi Jidin. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, Salam Sejahtera and a very good evening. Allow me to extend my sincerest appreciation to the English Language Teaching Center or ELTC, the organizer of the second international conference on English language, ASEL 2022, for inviting me to be here. The team for the second ASEL 2022 is 
envisioning the future of English language education, exploring innovations and best practices in English language teaching. I believe this conference is an excellent platform to discuss and deliberate on how we can envisage the transformation of English language education in Malaysia. This transformation is being made possible through a number of major initiatives by the MOE, including digitalization, restructuring assessments, Sekolah Kusajatra, and raising professional standards. Ladies and gentlemen, in envisioning the future of education in Malaysia, the MOE is transforming the education landscape and implementing new and viable initiatives in line with global education advancements. The MOE is finalizing the National Digital Education Policy Framework. This framework is one of the key initiatives to transform education system and practices, including English language education. It involves enhancing students' mastery of digital technology, enriching quality digital content, upskilling teacher competencies, and cultivating the use of digital technology among education leaders. Therefore, digitalization is crucial to driving transformation of the education system. Digitalization of the education system is now being implemented rigorously in primary and secondary schools to ensure that our students can access knowledge as well as skills via digital means. As part of the digitalization efforts, MOE has launched DDTV TV KPM and Digital Educational Learning Initiative Malaysia or DELIMA platforms to enable students to access information on demand. Through digitalizations, students and teachers are able to respectively enhance their learning and teaching of English. Immersion and engagement activities are able to be incorporated as part of the education process, which then translates into better understanding and comprehension of the English language. Ladies and gentlemen, another pertinent move by the MOE was the abolishment of the centralized year six examination, Ujian Penilaian Sekolah Rendah or UPSR, and form three school-based assessment Pentaksiran Tingkatan Tiga. The abolishment of PT3 and UPS, UPSR is to ensure that our teachers are less burdened with teaching and learning activities that focus solely on examination. In line with this move, MOE is empowering school-based assessments or SBA. The SBA comprises of three components, namely Classroom-based assessment, or PBD, physical, sports, and co-curricular activities assessment, or PAGSK, and psychometric assessment, or PPSI. The keyword for this transformation effort is empowerment. With SBA, teachers are empowered to implement lessons and assessments based on students' needs, hence helping every student to realize his or her full potential by taking into account the varying levels of English comprehension. SBA will also ensure that students are assessed for learning continuously and teachers will be able to guide and support students' learning based on these assessments. Ladies and gentlemen, consistent with the aim of developing the potential of students in a holistic and integrated manner. The MOE launched the Sekolah Ku Sejahtera concept in February 2022. This concept encapsulates all the programs and initiatives to cultivate good values, skills, and positive attitudes by focusing on the 14 key elements. Students are instilled with Sejahtera elements in a natural and integrated manner through cognitive, social, emotional, and behavioral ways. Teachers play a crucial role 
in inculcating these 14 elements among the students. It can be done whether during the formal lessons or in more informal settings outside the classroom. It is principle-based and not rule-based. The elements can be integrated with any learning strategies. The 14 elements of Sekolahku Sejahtera are safe, fun, healthy, ethics, empathy, self-identity, well-mannered, harmonious, perseverance, meticulous, competence, explorative, rational, and articulate. Ladies and gentlemen, the Sekolah Kusajatra concept emphasizes articulate as a value to be instilled in our students through the teaching and learning process. We need to develop our students' ability to articulate their ideas with ease in multiple languages, including and especially in English. This would enable them to compete and prosper in a competitive world. Developing our students' ability to articulate ideas and to communicate effectively in English is vital for students to be competitive global players. In this regard, this conference is a good platform to share innovative ideas and explore ways to develop and enhance students' articulation skills. Ladies and gentlemen, the MOE believes in equipping our English language teachers with the language proficiency and competencies needed to develop our students' English language proficiency to be of world-class standards. Besides upskilling teachers' language skills, Teachers need to keep in tandem with the demand of the digitalized world. In this regard, MOE focuses on continuously equipping teachers with new skill sets and enhancing teacher training by including digital literacies and digital pedagogies. The Malaysian education system must be future-proof and digital skills is now the rule, not the exception. Teachers are in the forefront of education, especially in delivering of knowledge, skills, as well as good culture and ethics in the classroom. Hence, teacher professional standards and practices must be in line with the global educational advancement. The transformation of education needs the commitment and contribution of all stakeholders to bring about the aspired change in the education system. Ladies and gentlemen, I believe that through this conference, we are able to gain valuable input on how we can move forward to strengthen the English education in Malaysia. I once again take this opportunity to congratulate ELTC for making ISEL 2022 possible through the concerted effort of the Ministry of Education divisions, IPG campuses, state education departments, and collaboration with international ELT partners. To the presenters, thank you for sharing your experiences, success stories, and best practices. And to all the participants, do take full advantage of the sharing of expertise and experiences to further develop the knowledge and competencies to expand the horizon for ELT. On that note, it is with great pleasure that I, on behalf of the Honorable Senior Minister of Education, officially declare open the second international conference on English language ISL 2022 with the team envisioning the future of English language education exploring innovations and best practices in English language teaching. Thank you very much. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. We would like to kindly invite Yang Brusa Doctor to remain on stage for our next event. Thank you, Yang Brusa Her, Dr. Haji Ahmad Rafi bin Cik Kasim. We would also like to invite 
Dr. Hajah Rosmini binti Ku Ahmad, Puan Faramadi binti Aman, and also yang berusaha Dr. Norisa binti Suhaili to go on stage and join yang berusaha Dr. Haji Ahmad Rafi for our next event. Thank you. We would now like to invite Yang Berusaha, Dr. Haji Ahmad Rafi bin Cheikh Kasim, to officiate ISEL 2022. Yang Berusaha, Doctor, please do us the honor by launching ISEL 2022 gimmick. Once again, we'd like to express our thanks to Yang Berusaha, Dr. Haji Ahmad Rafi bin Cheikh Kasim for officiating ISEL 2022. A big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Next, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, this is the moment we've all been waiting for. We will now announce the winners for the Digital Innovation in English Language Teaching and Learning ELT competition. We will begin with the recipients of the Consolation Prizes. The three recipients of the co Consolation Prizes are Mr. Nagarajan Pillai, Ms. Shi Yuan Ling. And Ms. Tan Shi Min. The second runner-up goes to Inche Muhammad Shaharuddin bin Setapa.
The first runner-up is Ms. Navinder Kaur Diraj Singh. in English language teaching and learning ELT competition is Mr. Tio Woon Chun. <laughs> Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, another round of applause for the winners of the Digital Innovation in English language teaching and learning ELT competition. Thank you to Yang Barusa, Dr. Haji Ahmad Rafi bin Che Kasim, for giving away the prizes. We will now have a photo session. Once again, congratulations to the winners. Thank you once again to Yambarusa, Dr. Haji Amarafi bin Che Kasim for giving away the prizes. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, dinner is served. Do enjoy your dinner. Baik, itulah tadi perasmian bagi Majlis Pelancaran Persidangan Antarabangsa Bahasa Inggeris Kedua ICL 2020 ataupun ICL 2022. Kalau tadi kita boleh lihat uh, sedikit petikan ucapan daripada Dr. Rusmini Ku Ahmad iaitu Rektor Institut Pendidikan Guru Malaysia yang mengatakan bahawa Persidangan ini merupakan persidangan tiga hari yang terdapat lebih 500 peserta dari seluruh dunia. Dan kerjasama ini dapat membuahkan hasil yang baik dengan adanya banyak perkongsian ilmu dalam persidangan ini sekaligus mewarnai dunia pendidikan bahasa Inggeris. Dan tadi kalau kita boleh kongsikan sedikit ucapan daripada Dr. Haji Ahmad Rafi Cik Kasim, Timbalan Ketua Pengarah Pendidikan Malaysia, Sektor Pembangunan Profesionalisme. Sebenarnya transformasi pendidikan merupakan inisiatif KPM untuk menukar kar landscape pendidikan ke arah yang lebih cemerlang dan menggalakkan penggunaan teknologi dalam bidang pendidikan membantu murid-murid dan guru-guru untuk lebih maju dan bersama-sama uh, menjayakan transformasi KPM dan dengan pemansuhan uh, UPSR dan juga PT3 dapat membantu mengurangkan beban guru sekaligus memberikan pemerkasaan kepada kuasa guru dan kebolehan potensi murid untuk cemerlang dalam pemahaman bahasa Inggeris dan sebenarnya, sekolahku sejahtera yang telah dirasmikan pada Februari 2022 menekankan skill artikulasi murid khususnya dalam bahasa Inggeris supaya mereka setanding dengan dunia luar. 
Jadi dengan persidangan ini adalah cara yang baik untuk meningkatkan bidang pendidikan bahasa Inggeris dengan pelbagai perkongsian dan inovasi oleh pakar-pakar yang terlibat dalam persidangan ini yang berlangsung selama tiga hari dengan lebih 500 peserta dari Malaysia bukan sahaja dari Malaysia juga dari rakyat di seluruh dunia. Jadi uh, ISAL 2022 ini adalah uh, kita doakan supaya berjalan dengan lancar supaya lebih ramai pihak merasai kenikmatan manfaatnya sekaligus sama-sama kita doakan agar kerjasama ini dapat memberikan satu lanskap baru dalam dunia pendidikan bahasa Inggeris. Jadi Uh, kalau kita melihat tadi, uh, persidangan ini telah pun berlangsung dan telah dirasmikan oleh uh, Dr. Ahmad Rafi Cik Kasim, Timbalan Ketua Pengarah Pendidikan Malaysia Sektor Pembangunan Profesionalisme. Dan kita harapkan inisiatif oleh KPM ini sekaligus membantu untuk memperkasakan bukan saja murid, malah guru, warga pendidik di seluruh dunia dengan peningkatan dalam bahasa Inggeris. InsyaAllah, kalau ada rezeki, kita berjumpa lagi. Dengan itu, saya Ifat Syami untuk Didik TV KPM. Assalamualaikum dan salam sejahtera. Di sini bermula mengenal dunia Bersama guru tercinta Seronok belajar selama sentiasa Sekolahku sejahtera Kesihatan di utama, kebersihan dijaga Sama perkasa etika, integriti di jiwa Kita selami empati, bina kasih insani Teguh jati diri Arab, sopan hidup harmoni Sekolahku sejahtera, sekolahku sejahtera Bangkitlah generasi pelaris negara Sekolahku sejahtera, sekolahku sejahtera Gemilanglah Malaysia di mata dunia Sejahtera